Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Moshe. Bring you guys another video, guys. We're doing a live commentary. Where do you guys think I should land? Do you guys think I should go retail? One of these videos, I will land at any of these locations. You guys got to just let me know in the comments below which location do you want. Do you want Pleasant Park, Anarchy? Let me know, and I'll give you guys the best tips on landing at that location. So, But for now, since I have no comments, and this is the first video where you guys give me a location to land on, we're going to go Salty Springs. This is one of the most packed places because of the Week 4 challenges where you have to kill... Actually, I think week three challenges where you had to kill people at Salty Springs. But since it's week three, it might be a little dead. As you guys can see, I don't really see anyone. Uh, I'm going to land on this house. If there wasn't a chest that I heard, if you guys, you got a sound whore. If you don't hear a chest, don't even bother trying to break in through the roof. Go to the bottom floor. The first thing you want to do when you land at a city, land at a house, is you want to find a gun. Skip, skip the bandages. Skip the grenades. Don't go to the ammo. Just forget it all. And the reason I say that is because you you want to get a gun just in case if somebody runs up in your house with a gun and you don't have anything because you're too busy looting the ammo and stuff like that. You're going to want to have a gun just in case that's just the, ooh, we got a chug jug. We got a chug jug, baby. So what we're going to do is we're just going to save this chug jug. I know I can use it now and some people are going to be like, yo, wouldn't it be a good tip to tell people to use the chug jug now? If you have confidence in yourself, don't waste the chug jug. I have 150 health. I don't think anyone has a green pump um, this early, so I mean, I should be good in a gunfight. Oh, I hear someone in this house. There's a chest in here, though. I'm gonna get this chest. Guys, number one tip. Oh, wait, what? I thought I heard a chest. Number one tip I wanna tell you if you hear somebody in a house, break in through the top. Never go in through the bottom floor. Always go in from the top and then break your way down into the house. I, I don't hear him anymore. So that means one or two things he ran out of here or he's just camping. I think he's probably camping under the stairs. But the thing that sucks about these stairs right here is even when you shoot it, it does no damage. So the stairs can never be broken. But I, I promise you, 8 out of 10, he's under those stairs. He's he's definitely under those stairs. If not, he got out of here somehow. Um, and I just didn't hear him. But watch, I'm about to... Yep, there he is. Alright, there we go. See, guys, I'm telling you, if, if you hear somebody, if you walk by a house and you hear somebody in that house... And then all of a sudden the sound just stops. They stop walking or you just don't hear them anymore. Nine out of ten times they're, they're in the house hiding. They're, they're under the stairs. They're in a bathroom. They're in a room hiding waiting for you to run by or walk through the door. So I suggest just playing it very careful whenever you hear something like that. Uh, I think he hit Little House. So what we're, we're going to do is we're just going to push to Log House. Yeah, we'll push Log House. Yeah, guys, like I said, you guys killed the support on my last live commentary video. So what I'm going to do is just anytime you guys kill support... Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy these live commentaries because I will bring you guys more live commentaries. All you got to do is just show me that you enjoy this content and I promise you I'll bring you content like this daily where I actually give you guys tips and tricks and stuff like that. We're going to get full health, full shield. Um, but I give you guys tips and tricks and stuff like that while doing a live comm so you guys can see why I do certain things and I can tell you guys what's going to happen in my predictions and stuff like that as it's happening. So it's definitely a, a really good thing to watch a live commentary because you can learn a lot from it. So definitely think bringing this into the series of, oh, somebody's in the house. There's a chest here. I'm just going to, I could search this whole house, but I'm just going to search this chest. Ooh, ooh, we got what I want, impulse grenades. We're just gonna, we just want to search that chest because I see someone over here, so I'm going to get the kill. I don't want to... I don't want to lose where his location is, you guys. I don't want him to end up getting behind me or I come over here later on in the game and he's not there because he's behind me somehow. So... Alright, he's going behind. He's going to run up my face. Oh my... Oh my god, dude. I was doing like 20 damage every shot. He barely touched me though, so we're, we're good to go. Uh, actually, I'm going to rock this, this green pump. But yeah, like I was saying, if you see somebody, you want to react to it. You want to go to that person and kill them. If you have confidence within the game, if you're like a complete noob, I don't know if this video will be good for you. I'll try to give you guys tips and stuff like that. But if you if you play scared in this game, you're going to die a lot. I think somebody was here. If You, you got to not play scared. You got to play with confidence and you got to just know that you're going to shit on the person. Because if I'm scared to rush somebody and I know where they are and I don't rush them, later on in the game, they can end up, they're close to me. So eventually they'll end, end up running into me. So I'd rather me run into them rather than them run into me. So that way I can get the first shot off. So definitely if you see somebody, push them. Dang, there's only 32 people left. And Dusty Depot is usually a scary place to go to because a lot of the times it's like dead center of the circle. But we're just going to push here to see if it got looted. And then if it got looted, we'll get out of here. But dang, only 32 people left and I only have two kills. Yeah, whoever hit this, they took all the wood too, so... They, they, they know what they're doing. Since Dusty got hit, we're going to push towards the edge of the circle. The reason we're pushing towards the edge is because you never want to be in the center of the circle. When you're in the center, you're going to have people coming from every direction. Northwest, south, east. 
they're kind of come from everywhere because they're trying to get into the circle. So you want to hang out at the edge so that way you have to just pay attention to the people on the outside coming in because people from the inside don't really go out. They usually tend to stay on the inside of the circle once they're in it. So all you got to do is really worry about the people coming from outside the circle and they're going to end up running into the circle. Watch, I guarantee you we're going to catch somebody coming from Tilted or Loot Lake or shifty shafts or something like that somebody's going to come from this general direction because they have to get to the circle and this this little river right here this is a good cutoff point because a lot of people cross this river you can see we have high ground we can see them and they have to get to the circle and we're in the circle so definitely pay attention to your surroundings and your location uh the the circles can help you win the games a lot of people like forget about that but you got to pay attention you got to know okay the circle's edges are over here so people are going to come from the outside edges of the circle there's always people coming from the edges of the circle so oh look at that somebody launch padded trying to get inside um now normally i'm not going to take a shot unless i get closer or i have a better shot but i'm just going to take the shot now to knock his shield got his shield down now what we're going to do is we're going to push him while he's panicking he's freaking out he doesn't know what to do we're going to push him but we're going to get on top of him because if we push down low he can be above us and he can look down at us and kill us oh crap there we go. So we want to get above them so that way we look down on them. Looking down on people is how you win your gunfights. I know a lot of people will think that, oh, if I just rush this kid head on and he has building, I'm going to win. No, start building way before you think that they can see you. Once you think that they, they can shoot you, start building up, get above them. Um, and then you can, of course, always build flat platforms. But that's why having materials is always good because the more mats you have, the better, the better chance you have of winning 1v1 gunfights. Another tip that I want to give you guys is always jump. Never stand still. Never just walk. Now, the jumping technique that a lot of the people use, oh, I thought I saw someone, is you jump, let your character take one or two steps, jump again. Don't just spam X, X, X every time you land because your jumps get smaller and smaller. So what you want to do is you want to just jump, two steps, jump, two steps, jump. Okay, someone's back there. But they're, they're so far at the circle and we have to travel so far that we're not even going to worry about him because if we worry about him, we're going to end up fighting him. We're going to get weak in the storm or from that fight, then the storm's going to start moving up and then we have all this way to push. So we'll end up dying from the storm. So it's gotta, you got to pick your battles right. So I know he's behind me. You got to keep in mind that you saw him. He's behind you. So you got to always check your back. Make sure you're always checking your surroundings and make sure you're checking your back as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's coming yet. He's going to come though eventually. So I got to make sure... I got to make sure that I'm, I have a high ground advantage and he can't get behind me. Because if he's above me and he starts shooting me from the back, I, I'm going to die. I don't have that much mats, so he can definitely outshoot my mats. And what I, what I mean by outshoot my mats is he has enough ammo to just keep shooting my uh, building to the point where I run out of mats and then I have nothing else I can do. Oh, I hear a sniper shot. Sounded like it was like 3.30. I'm going to push this sniper just because I need more mats, you guys, I, I I can use a better AR. I have good shotguns. I have impulse grenade. I have a chug jug, so I should be good on that part. I don't see him coming from behind, so I'm just gonna push this kid. I'm only gonna try and kill him for the mats. Okay, it looks like he doesn't. He might. No, I don't think he sees me. Oh my goodness, my shot is horrible, but it's okay to. Okay, I think he's in a fight with someone else. Now now's my chance to push him. When he's in a fight with someone else, it's the best chance. Alright, this guy's dead. Oh crap. Oh boy, he had a chug jug too. Almost died. I'm gonna build around. Stay safe. Take my chug jug now. See, like I said, we pushed up perfectly in time. So we have time to take the chug jug and still run to the circle and make it. Uh, after I take this, I'm gonna loot these guys. And we have another chug jug. Alright, the circle's coming. I don't see the guy from behind. So I think he might have taken a different route than what I took. Uh, but I'm gonna loot this guy real quick get all his uh, mats and stuff by the way mats is material It's just a quick version of people saying it and we got a scar man. We got a good weapon good scar How much mats do we, we have? Oh my goodness. We have a lot of mats circles coming. Ooh, I saw him So I'm launch pad in we have a chug jug full health full shield a scar more mats So out of that fight, it was a good idea You got to pick the fights that you actually get into because now now that we won that fight we there was two people that died so we had double the loot double the mats better inventories or weapons and stuff like that but my first objective is to get into the freaking circle so, all right i'm gonna take a few a little bit of damage but it's fine it, it's not gonna hurt me too much so right now i know there's a lot of situations where you guys just get into the new circle and you see a tower on top of a hill now when you see Something like this, there's two things you can do. You can avoid them or you can actually push them hoping that they're fighting someone else. But you got to keep 
your 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 guard up. You got to make sure that you're ready to start building. The second they start shooting at you, you have to start building. So what I'm going to do is since it looks like there's more stairs going to this tower, I think they just got done with a fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and rush up here, get under their base and show you guys a nice little technique. Since this is in the circle and it's a fat tower, what we're going to do is we're going to break down this wall, get inside their base and just hide. You guys can do this for the rest of the game. If you want to get a free win, if you're not that good at the game, do this to get a free win. Oh shit, someone saw me. Alright, I'm gonna go one more floor up since someone saw me. Uh, it's not safe right here. But yeah, you guys can do this for the rest of the game. You can hide in here. You can just remain low-key. Make sure that nobody sees you. Um, and then just, just camp. Just camp it out throughout the whole game if you're not that good at the game. I know a lot of people are gonna see this and they're gonna be like, why are you telling people to camp? Guys, these tips are for anybody, man. Anybody that needs help getting a win, that's what these tips are for. So if they have to camp to get a win, let them camp to get a win. But it, I agree, it will not make you a better player if you camp. The only thing that makes you a better player is... Oh, there's someone right here. The only thing that'll make you a better player is engaging in fights. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to sit here the whole game. I'm just going to wait for this kid. We're going to kill him and then see what loot he has. All right, he just ran by. I think he knows I'm here because he heard me break it. Good thing about this, this little technique that I'm doing. All right, he's running. I'm about to get him. Oh, no, it won't let me edit it. Oh, no, I'm screwed. All right, we're going to rush him. He knows I'm here. I'm not going to I'm not gonna camp because if you camp and wait, he'll come to you and he'll get high ground on you. You want to get high ground at all, all times, man. All right, I can get sniped. So let me build walls all around me so that way I don't get sniped. I see he's still in there. He's distracted by someone else, so we're going to shoot him. Oh, crap. All right, this is gonna be tricky. These are jump shots. These are these are gonna be a little tricky to hit. Uh, this takes some practice and some skill. I was using third person peeking to see what he was doing, and he, like I said, I was. Oh shit. Okay, he got out. Of, he got away. I don't want to peek anything because I don't want to get sniped, so I don't want to have my head up too long. But like I said, you want to get a high ground, you want to third person peek people because when you do stuff like this, you can see them before they see you. You can see what they're doing, you can see exactly where they are, you can line up your shot before they can even do anything. So that was definitely a smart play on my end, get above somebody so that way they're looking up at you. Oh shit, he's right here. Oh no, my shotgun. Alright, we tagged him up, he's one shot. We don't got to worry about him. He's scared, he's one shot. I don't think he had heals or shields. I think there's a shield down there that I need. I'm going to take this chug jug because we have 85 and 36, so we can get 200. Uh, I'm literally probably three shots, three tap, and I'm dead. So I want to make sure that I take this chug jug so I'm good to go. Oh, I see someone over there. See, I wish I had a sniper, but I don't. But this scar has range, man. It's okay to take the shot sometimes and tag him up, get him scared. Look at that. Here, he just lost, what, 65, 70 health? And just by that, he's scared. He's tagged up. He knows that his uh, location has been compromised. So he's just, he's scared. He's panicking. He's trying to heal up. So we're not going to worry about him. He's out of the circle. So he's, oh. Oh my god, we tagged her again. She's super weak. Let's loot this real quick. Golden Scar, baby. Ooh, we got a shield pot too. Oh, I can't take that. Yeah, I have to. Forget the pulse bomb. It's only one pulse bomb. Oh shit, he's behind me. Five people left, you guys. Five people. I only have five kills, but it's fine. I'm not going for a high kill gameplay for you guys. I'm, I'm literally just here to give you guys tips and show you guys what you can do. Try using the same technique that I'm actually doing in this gameplay. If it doesn't work, it's okay. Stay tuned because tomorrow I'll do another video for you guys. Oh, just destroyed him with this scar. Tomorrow I'll do another gameplay video for you guys, another technique that you guys can try and do. And um, you guys can hopefully try and get a win off that. If, if, if they don't keep working, I mean, don't give up, man. The second you give up, that means you're a quitter, and nobody wants a quitter, I think. Oh, shit, there's someone right here. He might be he might be over this. Oh, okay, I see him. He's over there at that log cabin. I wonder if he's trying. Yeah, he's trying to break in there. So I think there might be a chest in there. Yeah, there is. Okay, he built quick. All right, I don't want to sit here too long because if I sit there, I'm going to get sniped or shot from somewhere else. So I'm going to try and find another way to him. He's panic building. It's over for him. The second you saw pyramids, you know he was panic building. He didn't know what to do. Yeah, in a situation like that, you, you don't want to sit there for too long trying to focus on him like that because then you could get sniped. Again, this game is all about not being in the open for too long. If you're in the open for too long, standing still, you're going to die. Top three situation, you guys. Watch watch me clutch this, man. Again, I think the kids in my lobby, the, the last two is the girl that I tagged up. 
And then someone else, I don't know who the last person is, but the girl that I tagged up, she was like, oh, I have 999 wood. She was like over here in the eastern area. So I just got to look out for her. The only thing I don't like about the circle coming here to Lonely Lodge is all the trees, man. If she's in that tower, she can snipe me. But these trees are in my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start shooting the trees. I have 1,029 maxed out. I have max ammo. There's no more bullets that I can carry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start shooting these trees in a second. But instead of peeking over the wall, what I'm going to do is just put this window here and just shoot the trees because this way nobody can really snipe me. And I have a little, a little room to shoot trees and stuff like that. And it's making things open so I can actually see around me. Oh, in fact, there she is right there. All right, this tree's blocking the way. So let me just destroy this tree real quick. Yep, there she is. She's just sitting here. She doesn't know what's going on. Here we go. 1v1, you guys. A 1v1. In these situations, a lot of people get nervous. A lot of people get scared because they're like, crap. So 1v1. I hear him building. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know what's... He doesn't know what's going on. I could kill him. Very easy. Guys, this is a GG, man. You could definitely tell when somebody's nervous or, or kind of new to the game. I should have finished him. I don't. I stopped shooting because I was, try I was gonna do something crazy for you guys, but I don't know where he went. All right, we're in the circle. We're just gonna build a nice tower like we did er earlier. Um, and then he's gonna have to come to us. We know he was over in that general area. If he starts rushing me, then I'll know where he is. But he's gotta, he's gotta show himself. He's probably freaking out because the storm's closing in. We're in the circle. We're good to go. He's gotta show himself sometime. Yep, I hear him building. Oh, there he is. This tree's in the way. Oh yeah, GG guys. Tag him up real quick. Oh, he's weak. Let's just shotgun him, alright? Flying shotgun shot. Oh, I choked it. There you guys go, man. A victory royale, guys. It's that simple, man. I'm, a I'm telling you now. Let me get my launch pad. Fly out of the circle real quick. Whee! Let's go, baby, guys. There you guys have it. A victory royale. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. Show some love. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want it to be edited out? Because, like, I edited and cut out a lot of the boring parts in the video. Um, but then there were some interesting parts that I actually left in. But some people like the boring parts because it, you still learn what people are doing and how they're thinking. So let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, there's a massive giveaway that me and Casual Pro are doing in the description. All you got to do is click the first link. Sign up there. It's very easy. You guys have a chance to win some free V-Bucks, which means you get some free skin. Tomorrow's video you guys are going to be interested in. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.